2.0 headwind. You mentioned it's died down maybe a little bit as the meet has continued tonight. So Matani will get that middle lane in lane number five. He's headed to the Paris Games and actually ran the Olympic standard at this meet last year, August 4th, last summer, right down the road at Rhodes College running 997 here right down the road. Uh, th this is a fascinating event, Dan, at 100 meters coming up. And of course, the headliner maybe of uh, the entire men's U.S. Olympic team is, of course, Noah Lyles. Well, and what you gotta love about Noah Lyles is he's calling his shot. He says, hey, watch me win the 100, watch me win the 200, watch me, you know, win it in a four by one. And if they let me, I'm gonna run a fourth event, the four by four, and I don't imagine they're gonna let him. You, <laughs> right. you, you, nev you never know, but um, he's, He's done a lot for the sport, and for a lot of years, everybody was wondering who's gonna who's gonna take Usain Bolt's position. Who's gonna be the next great uh, you know great world sprinter uh, and and really become a superstar in the sport. And I love the fact that Noah Lyles and I you ask him, it's like, how are you how are you able to stand up there and say, hey guys, I'm this good, and watch me. And and he says he loves just talking things into existence. And there's his brother Josephus. They train together, you know. When and this is a this is a little bit out of place for Josephus Lyles because we're used to seeing him in the 200 meters. I'd love to see Josephus come up and, and move into the 400 meters, perhaps. There you see a good shot of Johan Blake. Somebody who I think we need to keep an eye out in this field is Aaron Brown from Canada. He's going to represent Canada again, but he's got a heck of a four by one team going. Look out for Canada on that yeah. four by one. Aaron Brown, Jerome Blake, Brendan Rodney, and of course, Andre de Grasse. Never count those guys out of a medal at the Olympics or the World Championships. And yeah, that was a big deal, of course, up in Canada when they were able to win in Eugene in that 2022 World Championships. Olympic silver and bronze in Tokyo and Rio for Brown as well. So a veteran Canadian relay sprinter who is headed to Paris in this field as well. The two Paris Olympians, Matani and Brown. Matani in five and Brown in seven. Johan Blake, you can't miss him there in the Puma kit running in lane eight. And the young American and former Florida Gator star, PJ Austin running in lane four. Clean start of the men's 100 meter final here from Memphis. There is Brandon Hicklin of the United States running well in lane number three. Here comes PJ Austin in four right at the finish. And it's Austin once again. 10.04 for the former Florida Gator, two American track league meets and two victories in the summer of 2024. Emmanuel Matati taking second in 10-1. Brandon Hicklin after that great start rounds out the top three in 10-12. Well, just two 100s off of his season best. He's got to be happy with that run. We get a chance to see what the wind is doing down there. But P.J. Austin, he looked great in the last 40 meters. Good drive phase out there for Austin. He and Brandon Hicklin battling a couple of guys from the SEC going at it once again. But there was about 40 meters to go. It looked like P.J. Austin just shifted into overdrive, started stepping away from the other athletes there. But he has run under 10 seconds with a pretty solid tailwind. But 10.02 is a seasonal best, 10.04 today. And these athletes, I love it. They cross the line and they know right where to look. Where's that? Where's that clock? Where's where is that clock? But PJ Austin, such a useful sprinter for the Florida Gators. Big part of their success in the four by one hundred meters and the and the sprints, even the long jump while he was a Florida Gator. 